I'm going to entitle this video, as I've, I've not been entitling my videos, I don't think, and Claire asked me to do that, and I've not been very good at that, have I? But uh, this one is, Nobody is Ever Anything. Hmm? Uh, last year we went to Barcelona, and I looked up an old friend of mine, he used to be our neighbor, he had right next door, to, um, here in this little village in Switzerland, he op he's opened a restaurant. And we talked, and he said, one thing I learned from you is, he says, today, tomorrow will be another day. He said, uh, that nothing can stay the same. And he said, it just, he said, whenever I get stressed and think things are going to be the same, he said, I remember that. And it soothes my mind. It, it slows me down and it stops me. But people have this tendency to believe that if things happen fairly frequently, that, they, that, it's, that it's happening all the time. And they'll say that to you. You know, oh, I'm always tired, or I'm always depressed, or I'm always, uh, I've always got ringing in the ears, and and I don't believe that you're ever always anything. I don't think you can be. I, I think we change so much and so significantly that that little voice inside your head, your mind, which is reptilian by nature and usually tells you less than magnificent things. It's why the motivational guys have you listen to tapes every day in every way. I'm better and better, happier and happier, and uh, shit, I'm still me. But basically, um, I, I, I had a, a woman come to a class, and she said, I always have ringing in ears. And I said, oh, I don't, I don't know whether that's true or not, but I doubt that it's true. And uh, she said, uh, no, no. I always have ringing ears, and I said, okay, I'm going to embarrass you. I said, I don't, do you have ringing in the ears when you're having an orgasm? And she said, I really don't care, <laughs> right? Whether it's there or not, I don't know. It might be denial. It might be, but that's a great river in Egypt. Um, I had a lady come to me, and I asked her what she wanted. She said she didn't want to have low back surgery. I told her I didn't either, but she said she always had low back pain. And I said, I don't believe that's true. And she said, it is true. I said, I don't believe it. I, she said, I, it's all, I always have that pain, always. And I said, okay, 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 just hang on a minute. I said, what is it that you're doing, or where is it that you are when you don't have that pain? She said, oh, when I'm on holiday, I never have that pain. And I said, have you ever met anybody who spent their uh, life on holiday getting paid for it? And that's what they did. And she said, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm curious, right? okay, who do you know that has spent their life on holiday? And I said, who would that person be? And she said, that would be me. And I said, you? And she said, yeah. She said, when I was younger, she said I was a hairdresser. And I would go from resort to resort, and I would cut hair. And that's how I made my money, and that's how I stayed on holiday. And she said, even to this day, when I go on holiday, uh, I don't have back then. I said, then why wouldn't you go? Why wouldn't you? Well, she said, my grandchildren. I said, do you think your grandchildren want you to have back, pain, back surgery? No. I said, do you think they'd rather visit you miserable with your back at home or visit you at some place in some exotic location where grandma's happy and no back pain? I said, you've got a lot to teach your kids. If you're being miserable because of your kids, that's what you're going to teach your kids. If you do things that make you happy, if you do things that are fun for you, that's what you're going to teach your kids. www.micpeakperformance.com